All right, to, so today we're gonna connect in micro ELRS Crossfire RC receiver to a Pixox 6X using uh, the PX4 Autopilot. So one of the issues is PX4 by default um, doesn't enable Crossfire with telemetry. You have to go in and compile, uh, build from source and compile, and then flash. And then once you have that, you can, I just have a DuPont header that goes, uh, adapts to JST GH six pin. You're just using one of the UARTs on the Pixhawk. I'm gonna be using uh, Telem two right there, um, just to connect that. Now with these ELRS uh, receivers, sometimes you do have to go in and um, flash the latest firmware. So you can connect it to power, connect to the access point that the uh, receiver broadcast. Once you're in that Wi-Fi settings page, you can set the um, the settings for to use that UART uh, for Crossfire, and then set the baud rate. Um, and then you want to, you want to make sure that the firmware version on your transmitter matches the receiver. So real quick, what you want to do is go to the PX4 Autopilot GitHub. You're going to go to this green box code, um, and then HTTPS copy to clipboard. Um, when you copy it, you can either use Mac OS or Linux. I'm using Ubuntu 22.04. It's pretty standard. I'm going to do a git clone dash dash recursive. Then you copy in that uh, GitHub link right there. And then you hit enter. I've already done it for you to save you some time. Um, once you get that all the sub modules in PX4 cloned. Um, you will then need to run your setup script for the operating system. So that is in tools setup. And you'll have a Mac OS sh, uh, .sh uh, script file or a bash file. Um, if you're using Mac, if you're using Ubuntu, use the Ubuntu setup script. It's going to take a while, but you'll just run that as an executable on the command line. Just run tools, setup, and then for me, I would use Ubuntu um, .sh. That will run, that might take a while. Um, and then, so once you're done with that, you wanna uh, log out completely um, for everything to, uh, for all your, your profile settings to reload. So then log back in and then go back into your PX4 autopilot. I'm gonna do a make PX4. For this case, I'm using the, the 6X, the V6X. So it's PX4 underscore FMU V6X default. And then the I'm gonna type in board config. Uh, it might take a little bit to load depending on your system. You wanna go to drivers and then where it says RC and it has the arrow you want to highlight that and then enter. You want to enable crossfire or CRSF underscore RC. Then you save. Um, and then you can hit the Q button. And then once you do that, you're going to plug in via, so I have mine plugged in via USB-C. You'll do a make upload. You'll, so you do the same uh, initial make command, but instead of board config, you're just gonna type in upload. So that will upload. As long as uh, your host machine or virtual machine is picking up uh, over USB, that should flash. Once it's done flashing, I will open up QGC just to make things easier. There is a parameter that you need to set. So we're gonna plug this guy in. And then plug in your crossfire to XYZ telemetry that you want.
So I'm just going to wait for QGC to load. Um, so once you're connected via transmitter, you should get a solid blue LED. Some of these receivers with the ELRS firmware, you'll get like a flashing LED if it's not, if it times out on the connection. That's a good indicator you need to go into the access point on the receiver and configure the settings correctly for Crossfire. Once you're in QGC, um, you're just going to type in CRSF. You'll do the port. So mine is Telem2. By default, it's disabled. Whatever Telem port you want to use, uh, go ahead and select that. I just have Telem2. And then if you want telemetry, and I'm not going to go over the telemetry in this guide, but there is a Crossfire telemetry enabled. So once you're done with that, uh, you just want to make sure that you're connected. You'll see like the four bars uh, on your transmitter. And so there are some settings with the transmitter. I won't go over it, but for PX4, I think um, uh, there's a few settings that I had to change. Uh, the packet rate had to be increased a little bit, or I, I should say decrease, but not too much. I would say like maybe 100 to 250 Hertz is good. And then, uh, um, Obviously, you'll have to bind it, uh, depending on your transmitter. It's a different binding procedure. Um, and then you can create a model and all that and just have different uh, RC receivers map to different models if you want. And that's pretty much it from, from the receiver and transmitter. So then we're going to go to the radio page and we'll do like a calibrate. Um, it'll say it'll say that you'll need to zero out your trims. So then we're just going to increase the, or yeah, push the throttle initially and then to the right, to the left. Now we're doing the roll stick to the right, left, and then pitch down center. And then it just kind of wants you to do the side buttons. Um, not super important, but, and that's pretty much it. Once you see that you, you can move pitch and roll and yaw, um, yeah, and throttle, you're good. That's it. And I uh, hope this guide is helpful. And, yeah, have a good one.